Peace family, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the long overdue review of the Sage and Ivy Natural Deodorant Spray. So the day that I was supposed to review this was maybe two or three weeks ago and I ended up, the day I was going to film after I got home from work, I ended up being in a car accident. And while I am okay, my job just told me, you know what, go ahead and go home. And I ended up not doing anything for the day. I was just kind of really freaked out a bit. So I ended up, like I said, not doing anything for that day. And so I was supposed to record this video back then, uh, but we didn't have everything in place. So now you guys definitely have a coupon code and I will leave it somewhere on the screen or link down below. And so you can just go to her website and you can use my coupon code. I do not, it's not a commission code. It's not an affiliate code. It's just, you know, everybody that she reached out to to do reviews for her deodorant, everybody has your, um, a coupon code for you guys. So I have a code for you as well. And I'll leave that down below. So this, like I said, this is the Sage and Ivy Natural Deodorant Spray. This is the lemongrass and tea tree scent right here. This is what it looks like. I actually did just <laughs> record me spraying myself with it, but I don't think I need to do that again. Um, yeah, I had a huge brain fart in the last video, so I'm going to skip that video and we're just going to go through with this one. So this is the new packaging. Originally, I believe it was a slimmer bottle, probably about the size of a spray on hand sanitizer bottle. And it was plastic. This one is, it's glass. So I definitely like that. Big ups on packaging. I was originally supposed to do a review back when she first initially did it, but something happened with my address in her system where it ended up getting sent back to her, and then she waited until she redid the packaging for me to redo it, for me to review it, which is totally fine with me because I like glass packaging. It's bougie. It makes me feel fancy. <laughs> so again, this is what it looks like right here. This is the lemongrass and tea tree smell. I can definitely say the lemongrass scent the force is strong with this one you will smell it when you put it on now then um late spring early summer when i first got this to review i can definitely say that it would last me all day now with it being late mid to late summer and it getting hotter and i work in patient care where sometimes my armpit is really close to somebody's face i will need to start carrying this with me in order for me to really 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 last all day long because some days, you know, with natural deodorants, the funk tends to break through a bit. So not as much. The lemongrass tends to cut that a bit. And the, um, I believe this has a CV in it. So yeah, that'll cut that as well. But sometimes my funk will break through. So I will start carrying this with me. That being said, I can say this stuff has amazing lasting power. I have worn this to a session at the gym with my boyfriend where I did cardio like 10 minutes of cardio then i did an hour of weight training and then i did an hour of zumba afterwards so i can definitely say if you apply this before you go to the gym unless you're going to be there for 12 hours it lasts you all the entire session i will say that so i love the fact that this has really good staying power however for me at work especially when patients families don't want to turn the air conditioning on in their house and i'm the one that's doing all the moving it can get a little i i tend to get a little hot so that part, yeah, I, I can say I sweat, a, I can't say I sweat a little bit, but I will burn through it eventually. So I'm going to start carrying this with me. I might, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in the glass bottle or if I'm going to put it in like a small hand sanitizer bottle that's a little bit smaller and just carry it with me. But um, as far as my patient, one of my patients is actually thinking about getting into natural deodorant. So I might, you know, get them a bottle and see how they like it too. Um, I will say because it has the ACV in it, if you have just recently shaved your arms, or your armpits it does have a slight not burning but you can feel it that's all i can say it's like a tingling sensation you can feel it like i shaved my armpits two days ago because i had switched off this deodorant to try to um do a comparison between it and i will be doing a comparison slash battle of the deodorants within the next couple days but the other deodorant i didn't realize had um baking soda in it and so if you guys can see right there um like baking soda will cause my skin to react poorly and so I shaved my armpits to try to exfoliate that area and so of course with me shaving recently it I can feel the apple cider vinegar it's not burning it's not uncomfortable but it is a sensation I want you guys to be aware of so if you are going to you know shave I would say um, put some shea butter or something else on top of this or before you even spray this on or just don't go this wear this at all within you know the day of day after maybe two days after you shaving 
Um, I do have fairly sensitive skin, but this hasn't caused me to have any reactions. However, I will say if your skin is any more sensitive than mine, as in you react strongly to baking soda or mustaches being rubbed on you or anything like that, if your skin reacts really easily to things, this might not be the deodorant for you just because like I said, because I shaved recently and I can feel the tingling sensation, I don't know how comfortable this is going to be for somebody else. It doesn't bother me. It's not causing me to itch. It's not causing me, you know, any additional redness or anything like that. You saw what my armpit looks like. And for whatever reason, only my left armpit seems to have negative reactions to deodorants. But if that's going to happen to your skin or it tends to look worse than mine looks, you might not want to do this. But otherwise, I don't have any problems with the deodorant. I really like it so like I said I'm going to be comparing this deodorant to some in the future it's one that I've tried you know DIYing myself as well as a few others just to give you like a comparison but this definitely has my my stamp my seal of approval and I definitely say test it out in the future if that's up to you if you know if it's within your budget so I will leave the link to her website her Instagram and anything else that I might need down below and I will definitely leave you guys a coupon code as well until next time peace